What's up, Soul Fam? How are you? Welcome back to my channel, Spiritual Dowsy. I'm Dowsy LeMay. For anyone that is new, welcome. I appreciate your love and support. And if this video resonates with you, feel free to subscribe. So we are coming into the pre-energies of this solar eclipse here on the 20th of April. It's kicking off the solar eclipse season for the year for 2023. And I just wanted to share a few thoughts that could be helpful as we move through this very powerful energetic portal. Okay, this whole transition here from, uh, from now until a couple days after the 21st, we are moving into a highly energetic time frame. And the reason is because the solar eclipse is going to be in Aries. Now, what that means is that we have fiery energy that's going to be drawn out of us. The solar eclipse is going to highlight that. Like I've said in all my videos, if you've watched this, is that a solar eclipse is like getting a deep tissue massage. It's going to pull this energy out of you. And all the Aries energy, this idea of this fiery energy wanting to come out, it's going to drive you into a new direction, a new direction that's better for you in your terms of your passions, your alignment of, of your better self or your higher self, and the things that are really that uh, are in alignment with what you want as you go forward. This is in tangent or basically uh, aligned with the sun going into Taurus as well as Mercury going into Taurus. So what we get is the practical aspects of us around security, around safety, around money, around materialism is going to be highlighted in our reality through conflict, through anxiety, through experiences that feel like there's going to be lots of resistance to draw things up out of us so that they can be cleared, integrated, and we can move forward in the direction that we really are designed, uh, the, what, we, what we are really driven or uh, uh, passionate about, right? Things that are really good for us and are for our highest good. But this energy, because we are aligned with the Mercury and Taurus, the areas that we've been holding on to that don't serve us, the things that we are inflexible about, the things that we are rigid about, the things that need to be shifted, but we are very, very tethered to, are going to bring up some chaos and turbulence for us to shift those in our highest good going forward. I talked about this in my April energy update that the numerology for this month was gonna be around fours, sevens, and elevens. This is in synchronicity with what we're going through right now. Fours are about foundations. It's about the concrete ideas about who we are and what we know about ourselves. This idea of the four legs of our chair, if you will, are going to be shaken up right this month and this time period so that we can move in a direction and set our new foundation for the things that are for our highest good going forward. Only to be highlighted through the sevens and the elevens. The sevens is about new truth. It's a high vibrational number. It wants to come out and be seen. It's about new ideology, new philosophy, new concepts about ourselves. It's a spiritual number. So we're gonna go through some spiritual growth as the truth of us come out and shifts our foundations because the elevens is all about mastery and moving into a new path and a new beginning. So that's gonna be about opening up new portals to a new way of, uh, of being ourselves and, and owning up to our power and walking through these very chaotic and turbulent time so that we can show the universe that we are ready for what we want, right? Definitely in line with the idea of this solar eclipse energy in Aries, driving us new passions, new beginnings, and being reflected through the sun going direct in Taurus in the, met in the retrograde of Mercury in Taurus as well, is only gonna cause this soup, this uh, concoction, if you will, of explosive emotional energy for us to say, I see this clearly happening right now for me, to, for me so that I can change things around. And that's going to happen specifically in your relationship. So be mindful as we go through this time period of what is being presented to you in your relationships around the core foundations of who you are because new aspects that you are trying to come up and realign you with what you need to do for yourself for your highest good as we move forward in the future. Okay, so a lot of us carry stress, anxiety, all these emotional energies that we aren't willing to acknowledge. In fact, we repress it and that's going perhaps 
affect our throat chakra, right? So pay attention to your throat and your neck because a lot of us carry those things in our shoulders and our neck area because you want to communicate them, but you don't. You repress who you are. You repress what you need. You repress what you want. You don't speak your truth, right? And as these things come up, you just, you, you get uh, uh, untethered emotionally, you yell, and all that stuff could cause some emotional energetic block within your throat chakra, causing pains, causing sore throats, causing coughs, etc. So if you're having that, it's really asking you, where can you speak your truth? What aspects of you are you not speaking to your truth? What are you denying yourself? And what is it that you need that you aren't communicating, especially in your relationships? So a few themes, a few themes, energetic themes that my guides wanted you to be mindful of. And this has been basically aligned with all the energies that I've been talking about the last couple of videos for this month. Is number one is the idea of emotional intelligence. We are being reminded constantly that we need to be uh, mature in our emotional intelligence, right? This is going to be a crash course for a lot of you. As you go through this retrograde energy, as the solar eclipse draws all this energy up between the numerology and the astrology and what my guides say, this is going to be a test for a lot of you. And you're going to need to be able to find balance in your emotional state and through your uh, doing state, right? It's This is about how can we be and how can we balance out with doing? How can we balance out the left side and the right side? How can we be balanced between our mind and our heart and our emotions, right? This is a, a place where we're being asked to also be sensitive, but also be able to hold our leadership traits as well. So how can we be balanced in all those aspects, especially in your emotional state, so that you don't become untethered, you don't create and do things from a state that is not in balance, right? In a place where it's you're angry, in a place where you feel scared, where a place where your your relationships is causing all your foundations to be a little bit shaken up, and this can bring up a lot of emotional things around anxiety, stress, etc. It's telling you to say, honor what's coming up, be mature about what's happening with you so that you then don't create something that isn't for your highest good going forward. And that is usually through love, self-love, looking at yourself, right? And that's the other theme that they're talking about is this idea of temperance, balance action. How do we balance between the opposites, right? Finding self-restraint in areas that we typically will lose ourselves in, in excessive stuff, right? Too much sugar or too much drinking, whatever. How can we be temperate about that and bring a little harmony back in our life so that we can balance out this fiery masculine energy of the Aries with the Taurus feminine energy that's being highlighted and being kind of conflicted in our lives as we go through this tor uh, portal, right? So questions asked. Where are you being too excessive? Where are you doing a little too much that you need to pull back a little bit so you can find balance? What do you need uh, to help you feel healthier and balanced through this time frame? What can you do, right? How about spending a little more time being and honoring yourself rather than focusing on doing, producing, and creating results, right? How many of us are always about going out and getting things done when we feel these ex emotional things such as anxiety, stress, uh, fearful, uh, pain, etc., right? Where can we allow things into our life rather than forcing things, forcing things through action and, 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 and results, right? How can we allow ourselves love rather than trying to show that we are deserving of love? Etc. Right. So this is just trying to balance out the opposites, trying to balance out fire and water, finding temperance in our life, moderation, and that will really help you through this time frame. Because the other theme, and the last theme I'll talk about, is the idea that we need to be a little bit more alone in ourselves as we go through this time period. Be mindful and spend more time inward, reflecting on what is being presented to us in our lives, in our relationship, in our experiences that are highlighting the uh, practical aspects of our relationships and highlighting the foundations that need to be shifted around because new truths are coming up about us that really want to be honored. New passions, new directions, the new authentic uh, parts of us that want to be seen and want us to go forward in a better alignment is going to need to be done on the inside this month and this time period. It's really going to be about spending more time in meditation, 
grounding. And another part of this whole being inward and spending time alone is being out in nature. Nature is going to help you. Being out with Mother Earth, it's going to help you ground. It's going to help you flow with the energy so that you don't get stuck here in your throat chakra causing all these issues and allows you to flow that downward, ground that into the earth to feel more balanced, feeling more moderate, temperate, and being emotionally intelligent through our day. It's going to be vitally important for all of us to spend some time in nature, being alone, and hopefully you see what I'm talking about through the numerology, through the astrology, through what my guides have been saying, that this is going to be a very powerful time frame, energetic portal. And if we don't do those things that I just talked about, you could really find yourself in a difficult space and setting really the foundation, a really, sh a really shaky, rocky foundation that doesn't serve you as you go forward. So I hope that helps. I love you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll talk to you soon.